Hey babies, this is Joyce Lynn. I was talking to her. We've had a wonderful conversation and I told you she was beautiful. And you just do so many things besides acting and dancing and burlesque and modeling. You are even a calendar girl. She's a calendar girl. How does one go from being a calendar girl, a model, to being a printer? She well, prints stuff. <laughs> yeah. I have this printing company. I print for Angeline and I print for Bon Jovi and I print for Shaka Khan and I've got Khan. different different people. I did Lenny Kravitz headshots. So I have different people that I that I work with because I like to be around mm -hmm. entertainers mm -hmm. and I like to create images for them and tour books for Jeff Dunham and I've done all different kinds of things, which is fun because I get to meet people mm -hmm. and I get to, you know, create stuff uh -huh. and it's all together. And I like to make up like this one a uh, guy had a film and it was a fighting film. So I found a squeeze ball shaped like um, like a boxing mitt and I put the name of the film on the boxing mitt. How cute is and that? So yeah, and then KFI Radio I was doing a bunch of stuff for them and we are, handle, entire, we are just entirely we are entirely we are entirely too connected. Yeah. We really are too connected. This was just a matter of time because KFI is who brought me to California. Really? 27 years oh ago. Oh my God. KFI AM 640, more stimulating talk radio. Stimulating. Bill Handel, I was there when Handle he came. Handel on the law. Handel on the law. I was there we when he came. Mugs. See, look at that. Yeah. Shaka Khan, I've interviewed her. I mean, it, this is just, it was just a matter of time. And sometimes, do you feel like that, especially in this business, when oh, it can be yeah. so disjointed and so disconnected? You know, I find it's such a small world mm -hmm. because when you start talking, people, everybody knows everybody. Because mm -hmm. It is a small, even though it's big in Hollywood, there's only a bunch of people that are all connected. And when you think about it, they just keep recycling us and we just, you know, if you just stand in the line, like Joe Pesci said, just stand in line and wait your turn, you will get to the front of the line. Just That's wait right. your turn. So many people get so discouraged, though, by this business. What keeps you motivated to keep, you know, say, I can do this and keep keeping the ideas oh, it's fresh. So exciting because every day somebody will call me out of the blue like I, I do here Sweetie, makeup. you know it's not it's not out of the blue. They know you. They're like, let's call that Jamaican Joycelyn. She can do hair, makeup, she can cook, clean, wash, iron, so scrub. She had, you know, I, I'm going to tell you this. You know why God made you a woman? Why? Because he knew you could handle it. <laughs> he knew you could handle it. All righty. A lot of folk can't handle it. You can handle this. So when you when you look at what you're doing with your life, what are the things that have been most important to you and how have you grown through your experiences? I think family is the most important mm -hmm. and your friends. Mm -hmm. In the end of the day, you know, no matter what you do in your working, it's important to have, you know, good people around you in relationships. And you know what? And I, I love my Hollywood people. Don't get me wrong, but I want to go home. That is right. And take my hair off, take my makeup off, pull my bra off, and just be me. You know, I remember when I was doing stand-up, and you know when you do a killer show? Yeah. You know, and you know you done killed, and you went out there, and you just took them in. And I would go home, and I would be so, you know, and it take you a while to come yeah, down. Yeah, yeah, because you're all hot. Yeah, you got to like, phew. And I would come home, and I'd be like, oh, honey, I killed him, I killed him. He was like, that's all well and good. Take all that mother love stuff, <laughs> stuff off and go in there and make me a sandwich. I'm like, wait, what happened to the pretty girl stuff? Yeah, 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 that's what you do outside that door. When you come on this side, you wife, you mommy, we need some chicken done. Like, that, and, but that keeps you on the ground. Now, do you that's have children? Pretty. Are you married? No. You're not, you're not married? Do you think I have time? <laughs> no, I had to be married. I had to get off the... Sh this was my oh. proposal. Now, we've been together for a long time. And we lived together for a long time. And one day he woke up one Sunday morning when we didn't go to church. And he said, I think I'm going to take you off the street. I'm like, what do you mean you're going to take me off the street? I'm going to marry you. I'm like, I'm not on the street. He said, I'm going to marry you. I'm like, yeah, right. I don't want to be married. That's too much work. That's too much commitment. You got to look at the same person every single day. <laughs> All the time, you be asking yourself, why he chewing like that? Why she look like that? She smell funny. She's starting to smell Oh, What happened to her chi -chis? Oh, this is not working for me. You know, all of that. And I would not change one single solitary minute of it. No matter what, because I needed to be off the street. I Some of us have to be, fun, yeah, I had, no, I have to be in a controlled environment. No, my, you know how your brain, you know how your brain go out there? Mine would too. We will be back on YouTube with Joycelyn.